Hey guys, this is Texas Rails and Raisins Productions here, and today we're going to be unboxing three new NASCAR 164 Skill diecast that I just got in the mail today, which we have one 2024 diecast and two 2023 diecasts, which we have Kyle Busch's Lucas Oil Chevy from this year, and then we also have Bubba Wallace's Grimace Toyota from last year, and also Tyler Reddick's Hamburglar Toyota scheme from last year. So yeah, just... Yeah, basically I have the McDonald's set here of Grimace and Hamburglar, and then I have um, this Kyle Busch one here, which this is a, this is my um my my third 2024 diecast because my other two were Elliot and Larson, which I have the Hooters and Hendrick 1100 uh, 1100 set here, which um yeah this scheme though for Larson it's actually coming back um this week for Indy. Like, just for a second chance after um, what happened during the Coke 600, because both the Indy 500 and Coke 600 were delayed this year, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, Larson did not get to run the Coke 600, only the Indy 500. So, yeah. But, yeah, then again, no, just, yeah, I mean, it's good to know that the scheme is getting another chance. So, yeah, but other than that, though, um, why don't we just get started here, and we're going to start off with this one here, which I'm just going to open it out of the box here. Keep recording here. All right. All right. Okay, here it is. Here is the car opened up and out of the box, but one thing, um, I have also noticed here, along with some other people that are diecast collectors, is that if you look at the window right here, there's no window bars. Like, like here's a comparison to like the 2023 version, which this is also the Alco one. Like, look at this here, no window bars on the front, and yeah, wait, yeah, well the back is the same here, but the front, yeah, you can see no window bars, which I don't understand why though. But yeah, other than that though, I'm glad to get this one here, but yeah, just, here's a comparison to the rest here. Um, the Lucas Oil logo is different, so yeah, and which also, I even have um, the big one here, the 124 scale. So yeah, although I want to mention this, um, uh, I want to mention this here, um, next week, I think I should maybe, hopefully, like, maybe make a die test collection video for the 2024 edition. I should hopefully get that out next week, but then again, I'm going on a little trip for a few days, which I'll I'll mention where uh, where I'm going hopefully soon during my trip. So yeah. Other than that, though, just yeah, I'm glad to get this here, and you can also see a difference on the name on the windshield, like compared to 2023 and 2024. So yeah, but this scheme though was only run once this year, but it'll be used um two more times, which I believe are Michigan and Talladega. So yeah. Sorry, just my my camera was not really focusing for a second, but yeah, now we have um the the two McDonald's cars left to go, so yeah, just yeah um yeah, I think I'll start off with Bubba here and yeah, let me just get this one opened up here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot here. Um, yeah, they have to come on the base here because apparently now McDonald's diecast have to come on the on the base. Yeah, but again, no. Here's the scheme it looks really nice to say the least. Yeah, I I mean, yeah, Bubba Wallace ran a scheme at Homestead last year along with the Hamburger car for Reddick while Reddick was still in the playoffs. So yeah, I really like these flames here. Yeah, the, the Grimace car also got the run again this year at Iowa, but this time was a full purple scheme. So, yeah. Looks really nice, still, to say the least. Yeah, I really like these flames. But, again, no, it comes on this base, but... But, hopefully, in the thumbnail, I should have the base off of this, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, just, you know, just... Yeah, it looks really nice, to say the least. Yeah, and there's Grimace on the hood. Yeah, I'm just really glad to get this, though. So, yeah. Now, I'll just move on to the final one here since I'm getting the run low on batteries. So, yeah. 
yeah, here's the here's the hamburger car from Tyler Reddick. I'll just open this one up. Okay. And which this is also gonna come on a base too, because this is also a McDonald's scheme. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. There, there's the base and it also comes with a playoff banner since Reddick was still in the playoffs at that at this time. So yeah. But again, here's here is the hamburger. So yeah, I just I really like how it looks here. Just yeah, you can see there he is on the on the hood, and it's black here with the black and white stripes. So yeah, so yeah, just here are the two you know, side by side here, grimace and hamburger. So yeah, you know, really glad to got these here because they may be sold out very soon. To be honest. But who knows, because they're bringing them back this year. They brought them back this year at Iowa, so maybe not be sold out. But then again, just there's a new version of the Grimace car, this time being full purple without the black. So, yeah, just, again, I'm glad to have gotten these two, so yeah. But, but when you see the thumbnail, you'll see the bases hopefully off, if I can manage to do that. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm just going to put these right here and get Kyle Busch right here. So yeah, just there, there they all are right here. Yeah, so yeah, I can't even remember the last time I did an unboxing video of, of a gold series diecast. I mean, maybe it was when it, I I had those die I got those diecasts for my 19th birthday. I think honestly that that's right. I mean, I I, I may be wrong honestly, but then again, I I don't I don't usually make unboxing videos that much uh, as, as like what I did back in 2020 and. 2021 to 2022. So yeah, but I'm gonna try and maybe do some more just to keep my channel and also up with NASCAR content because I know I mainly do train content. But that's just because I'm 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 a rail fanner and also a NASCAR fan. So yeah, just even though 90 percent of my content nowadays is just trains. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do more NASCAR content soon though, but yeah, we'll just see how this goes though. So yeah. So again, there are the three diecasts I got, Kyle Busch, Bob Wallace, and Tyler Raddick. So yeah, I'll see when I'll get um, another diecast, but who knows. But again, no, I'm, I'm going to try and maybe do my diecast collection video, hopefully next Saturday, but that's yet to be determined. Just depends on how I am by then, so yeah, we'll just see how this goes though, so yeah. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.